there any different way to describe the frustration you and the team must be feeling right now not taking a series that you need? It, there's been frustration all year, but this one in particular, this one we need to come out and play a little bit better today. You know, Mac had really good stuff early on. What struck out the first six guys of the game, got him out of there. But by that time, we had, we'd given up a few runs and then obviously a few more in the middle innings. So yeah, it's frustrating. Obviously, the bullpen seventh inning was a determining factor in this game, but even more so the offense stranding seven between the fourth and the sixth with opportunities to get on the board? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a theme. We've, we haven't been able to, you know, get on a run until we do. It's going to be tough to string games together. So, yeah. Is that somewhat of a silver lining in the midst of what else is going on? The starting rotation is giving you a chance to win almost every single night? Yeah, it's just, that's been, we've been doing that you know, for a lot of the season. So in the bullpen, you look at the bullpen numbers, it's been good too. It's just offensively, again, we have not been able to sustain anything. What do your players need to do to stop this two-step forward, two-step back, two-step forward, three-step back? If I had an answer for you, we just got to keep working, keep, keep playing hard, and keep fighting through it. You know, it's been a tough stretch, you know, to where we are right now. We never expected to be where we were record-wise record at this point. But it is what it is, and it basically tells you who you are. And we haven't been able to play consistently enough to have a better record and be over 500. I know they've bounced back quite a bit, um, but that's because you've fallen so much. Right. What, what's a level of concern that at some point here you're going to lose heart? No, that won't happen. That won't happen. There's a lot of baseball left. You, I mean, you go on a run, and you're right back in it. So it doesn't look great. There are a lot of teams ahead of us as far as playoff teams at this point. But there is you know, a run that could get us right back into it quickly. We just haven't done it. That's that's the hardest part at this point. Given that the nature of that run is is getting more and more imperative and, and the, right. the predicament you find yourself yourselves in at this point, like is there does the urgency ratchet up given where things are in the standings now? And you know, there's a balance, right? You just you play for each and every day and, and hope that gets you to a different place. But we have a lot of guys here that aren't, I, you know, you don't want to go into some sort of a panic type mode with your at-bats. You only want to be able to string them together and, and give multiple at-bats, make pitchers work. At times we've done it, more than often we have not. And it's been runners in scoring position that's been our biggest problem. But there's there's not going to be a give up here. We're going to continue to, to fight as hard as we can and know that with the, you know, the talent that we have, we have the ability to, to win a lot of games. How is Juan doing after that collision? It's a good one. Uh, he's fine. Um, you know, scared me for a minute. Obviously, you know, he makes great makes great play, but did not know where the wall at the time. It probably helped him that you know he didn't tense up, you know, at the last minute. But you know, he wanted to stay in the game. Kept checking on him as it went along, and you know, what the head wasn't the problem. He banged his knee a little bit up on, uh, on the wall, but he, he feels okay. A lot of people, including people outside the organization, thought Jake was going to have a big year coming into this year after his spring. Uh, what have you seen in his swings, and what is it going to take to get him going? I think it's not the only guy. So, um, you know, he'll he'll show stretches of coming out of something, have some good at bats, get some big hits, and then not consistent again. But that's that's the entire team at this point. It's just not one guy. You think someone like that is? Feeling is pressing a little bit because everyone around him isn't, you know, performing as well. Yeah, it's a, probably a better question for him, but he comes prepared to play every day, wants to play every day, and wants to hit his way out of it like everybody does. Bob, this team made so many moves at the deadline a year ago. Do you feel as though right now you have the right group of players to go to make to go on a run? I do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how else to put it. It is frustrating. Um, yeah. So Bob Melvin used the word fight, and he has the right group of guys. Can you get any rhyme or reason as to why this team has really struggled to, to go on a run? I don't know. I mean, and we've been asked this question constantly, and um, we don't. I don't have. I don't have an answer. Um, obviously, it's collectively we're not doing things as a group well. It was good for a while. For a couple of weeks there in the middle, we were you know playing good ball. We we're you know stealing more bases. We were getting on base. The approaches looked right. 
Um, I don't know that all that's changed. We just haven't gotten the results. So yeah, I don't, I don't really have an answer. It's almost feel like wasted opportunity when you play like a team, a team like the Nationals. I mean, no one's expecting them to do much this year, but to lose like this a series at home. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's it's teams that we feel like we should be beaten, but you know, it is the big leagues, and teams will come in and they'll you know they play you tough here. We obviously you know don't feel like we're playing well enough to to beat teams like that. You know, yet alone some of the better teams in the league right now. So um, yeah, we gotta you know look within here and make some adjustments and find a way to start winning games. How would you determine? How would you gauge the fight that this team has left you guys are close to the halfway point of the season yeah i mean there's plenty of fight left obviously we haven't even gotten on a roll we're playing really good ball consistent ball and i think that'll um you know bring a lot more energy out in guys that'll you know allow us to tap into each other a little more and rely on each other a little more i think everyone's kind of you know wants to be the person and wants to be the guy in certain situations and you know we're not getting it done so I think next time we see the pause rates, it's going to be it's going to be July, which is which seems kind of crazy. How important is this road trip that you guys face going back home for you to Pittsburgh and a, and a pretty hot Reds team as well? Yeah, we kind of backed ourselves into a corner, so not even this road trip. I think everything from this point forward is going to be extremely important.